the one I love. Hi guys, next in my ranking series I'm going to rank the house collection. Now in the UK there is four house movies but I think in the US there's only officially three because house part three is called the horror show but it is, it is called the horror show in the uk but it's called house three the horror show now i have fond memories of all the house movies growing up i used to stand in my local video store blockbuster global video uh, and just stand and look at the horror movies for half an hour to an hour just standing there looking at the the movies hoping and praying that my parents would actually rent them for me they hardly ever did and house and house 2 were the two that i always went to because i loved the front covers for them the late 80s movies i love the late 80s horror movies and i just used to stand and look at the back covers they were just even if I didn't see the movie for years and years, I just love the front covers for these two movies. So we'll go ahead and rank them guys. There's only four in the, the series, so it'll be a quicker video than normal. So in at number four is House 3, The Horror Show. Now a lot of people do like this movie and I think it's an okay movie, but as part of the House series, then it just doesn't quite fit in. I watched the documentary uh, on all the House movies and Sean Cunningham himself, who actually produces this movie, he read the script and he even didn't understand why it was called House anywhere else uh, outside of the USA. He just didn't really understand it. And when you do watch this movie, you, you completely don't understand it at all. This one stars Lance Henriksen. And this one stars Lance Henriksen, but it just doesn't seem, like I said, like a house movie. It's more of a kind of thriller, detective style movie, and it just took itself outside of the house series. Uh, it kind of reminds me, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Wes Craven's Shocker. And at number three is House 4, The Possession. This one went straight to DVD or straight to VHS. It was directed by Lewis Abernathy. He again was on the documentary and he was talking about that he seems a little eccentric and you can just tell he's not the best of directors just, just by listening to him. Uh, he even went into this movie thinking, what am I doing here? And I think after that he didn't direct another movie uh, and if he did, it's went straight to video again. Now for the most part, this movie is a pretty bad film. Everything about it is actually pretty bad, but the nostalgia for me for this movie is quite high. Um, it was made in 1992, I think it was. I didn't really care for any character in this movie. In fact, the only character that I actually cared for was William Cat's character who came back uh, after an absence from uh, House 2 and House 3. So it was good to see a familiar face back again. And I think that they brought him in. They must have paid him quite a lot of money, but they brought him in just to bring more originality to the movie, but it didn't help uh, because they did kill him off in the, within the first five or 10 minutes. And after he died, the movie just went right downhill. Now you're probably wondering again, why have I put this in my third place instead of fourth place? I think House 3, the horror show, is a better made movie and a better quality movie. But like I said, House 4 holds that nostalgia factor for me and that's what edges it into number 3 spot. Now then number 2 is House, the first movie. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, House is a way better than all the other House movies. I kind of agree. Now this is one of these lists that were... This is one of these lists that was really torn between number 1 and number 2 spot. There are times I've kind of think that House is better than House 2, but on this occasion, as I'm speaking now, I think that House 2 slightly beats out House 1, but we'll talk about House 2 later. House 1, it was a great, great movie. I love the cast in this one. Uh, George Wendt, I think it is, is the next door neighbour, so he brings a bit of comedy into the movie. And even though the movie is a kind of comedy horror, it's got a um, really deep, deep story to it. Uh, this guy who's lost his kid, um, his kid just disappears in the pool one day, and then a couple of years later, he goes to the house, um, he's living in it, he's a writer, and he thinks he's going to be able to get his son back. I've got a kid myself, or a couple of kids myself, to actually touch wood. Um, you know, if anything ever happened to your children and you just want to see them again, you would do anything. And in this movie, he kind of does anything to get his son back, if he can get his son back. Not only is the story really solid, it's got really, really good practical effects. No special effects, well, not much special effects were used in this movie. It was mostly all practical. The monsters in it were really good. They were funny, and that's what take you away from the horror of this movie. That kind of separates the horror from the comedy, is the way that the monsters look. But there are a few quite scary scenes in it, like the old woman who hangs herself in the room. 
some of those scenes were really scary, especially when you watch it as a kid, like I did. I thought this movie terrified me as a kid, especially the start of the movie. When you look at the, the pan of the, the house, the house is so big. I always wanted to live in a, a house like that, as a Romanesque house. Um, and it's just so grand and amazing. And it just, it's one of those houses that I wanted to visit. Uh, and I know it's, a, it's an attraction just now these days, but obviously I live in the UK. I'll never be able to get to it. Although this movie is my number two, I love this movie to pieces. It is one of my favourite 80s horror movies of all time. One last thing I love about this movie is the score and the soundtrack. I've got the score and the soundtrack and I listen to it all the time. I love that kind of 50s style music that they put into it as well. It just gives it a really, really good touch. And as you know, number one is House 2, the second story. When I watched this movie for the first time, I thought this is a little off because it's more of a comedy than a horror movie. And it's true, but as time went past and I watched it over and over again, it's again, it's one of those nostalgic filled movies that I just love so much. It's very, very cheesy. The story is very, very loose. And it seems like a, a straight to video movie. Uh, and, and that's what it is really. Um, John Ratzenberg is in this one as well. He um, plays a little cameo role. And I just think that the two main characters are really funny, really likeable characters as well. And I love the grandpa who came into it as well. I just, I like the story with the grandpa coming out um, and helping his grandson or great great grandson defeat the evil in this film. This movie is very, very 80s. The music's very 80s. The, the set design, the clothes that they wear, everything's so 80s. And I did do a little bit of um, investigating into the house that they filmed in because the house was used in other programs as well. Uh, that's another house I'd love to visit. It's a, another Romanesque house. At this time it's bigger. And it's just one of those houses that it's just got so much history. And that helps the movie as well, that the look and feel of the movie. It's just so eerie. I think the bad guy in House 2 is a lot better than the bad guy from House 1. Uh, he's a sort of cowboy and he comes back and he knows um, and he knows the grandpa and they've got a kind of shootout at the very end. Again, that's really well done. And when I watched this movie as a kid, that part really, really scared me when he came out of the, the dinner, lifted up the the dinner plate and his head came out and he just rose up through the table. That was very scary for me. So that's my ranking for the house movies, guys. The house series isn't actually a very popular series. Not a lot of people have heard of it, never mind seen it. Uh, but for those of you in the horror community and who, those who love 80s horror movies, most of you will know what it is. But if you have seen them, guys, leave your comments down below. What order would you put the, the house movies in? Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching again. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.